Data breaches of large companies like J.P. Morgan, Chase, Target, and Home Depot have affected hundreds of millions of Americans. The city of Port Arthur wants to make sure its employees and residents know how to protect themselves against identity theft and fraud. KFDM's Lauren Hewitt reports the city provided experts to give practical advice. Charles Shajiri works for the city of Port Arthur. He's also a victim of identity theft. My wallet was stolen in 2009. A lot of my credit card was charged one hour, $8,000. He attended Friday's seminar to learn how to protect himself. You really can trust. You have to watch where you charge your car. Holding your information close to the vest with whether it's your social security number, account information, um, just because once that information's out there, it's sort of difficult to put the genie back in the bottle. Reed Tepfer works for the Federal Trade Commission. I think the most insidious scam out there is the phishing scam just because it's so effective. And what that means is they're emails that are designed to look like an email from a company that you do business with, whether you know it's, it's your bank or or uh, somewhere that you shop. This is Port Arthur's third identity theft and fraud prevention seminar. The information technology manager says city employees are becoming savvier. So we get more phone calls now before they actually click or before they actually give out information over the telephone. Well, before we started doing this, it was a lot of let's recover from it. Now they're, they're, they're more wise than they were before. I really like that and I hope we have it again and Hopefully, public will learn a lot about it. Taking precautions when paying online or with a credit or debit card and staying one step ahead of identity thieves. In Port Arthur, Lauren Hewitt, KFDM 6 News. If you believe you are a victim of identity theft, you can file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission. For more information, visit our website at kfdm.com.